Hello, I'm here today to talk about AMD Radeon RAM Disk. This is video number two in the series. Hopefully you've already watched the video covering what RAM Disk is and how it works. In this video we're going to cover the best use cases for RAM Disk. So we're going to start off again with a basic block diagram of your computer. We're going to look at it with respect to the storage tiers and their characteristics. So you've already um, hopefully seen video one where we talked about the performance characteristics of the various storage tiers. Now we're going to talk about the capacities and cost associated with those storage tiers as well as some of the other properties as far as wear and volatility. So looking at the lower right hand side of your screen we have your traditional storage tier here which can, uh, comprises SSDs and hard disk drives. The other element of storage in your system as shown up in the upper left is the DRAM. So let's look at first the quantities of storage you would expect to see in these tiers. So with the hard drive tier, um, it's very common to see capacities in the terabyte range. The newer um, all electronic solid state tiers typically executed in flash um, have typically hundreds of gigabytes of storage. Um, there are terabyte SSDs, but they're still pretty cost prohibitive compared to a terabyte of hard drive space. So we'll measure those in hundreds of gigabytes. And then, of course, you have your DRAM, which is typically measured in tens of gigabytes for your, you know, most of your desktop type applications. You have 8, 16, 32 gigs of DRAM. So that gives you an idea of the quantities of storage you have and also indicates the order of sort of cost associated with them. So the hard drives typically have the lowest cost per gigabyte, then comes the SSDs, and then finally DRAM. And inversely, of course, is the performance. The DRAM is the very highest performing all the way down to the lowest performing, which is your hard drive. So given all that information, let's look at how that impacts our use cases. So let's start off with the mechanical hard drive. It's optimal for large files, infrequently used files, backups, archives, and streaming files. It's because it's very low cost per gigabyte and has very good streaming performance, just not real good random performance. So because it's not very good at random, it has problems with small, frequently used files, and random data, and of course the response times for hard drives as we covered in the prior video are on the orders of milliseconds. So not super fast compared to um, solid state elements. So looking at flash-based solid state disks, they're very good at mid-sized files, frequently read applications, uh, very good at random access because they don't have any mechanical latencies, uh, and they make a great place to put your operating system. They're less optimal for frequently written files uh, and backups and archives, and the reason for that is, is that flash tends to wear out as you write it. So if you write frequently to your flash drive, you are effectively wearing it out. So you don't take quite that same penalty for reads, which is why it's, it's better for reading than writing. So there's a set of files that are um, optimal for that usage, which um, typically are your operating system. It's a great place for it. Uh, then we have the DRAM RAM disk. It's optimal for very small files, frequently accessed files, random access data, and very fast response data. So if you want the fastest storage possible, you want to have a RAM disk. Now, that doesn't mean it's good for everything. It means that, you know, if you have, if you have media files or streaming files, backups, archives, that sort of thing is perfect for mechanical drives because they're um, very low cost. You don't need to get at your backups as frequently as, as you do your, your um, mainline data. On top of that, you know, RAM disk is a volatile storage media, so you need to have that start up and shut down save option set. But if something were to happen in the meantime, if your computer were to crash with data in the memory, that data would be lost. So it's not optimal to use a RAM disk for mission critical data without some other backup means in the system. So let's look at the applications associated with each of these storage media. You have your hard drive, the applications that it's good for are the general purpose apps. So anything that you really you know, just use for infrequent usage, uh, archive, media files, backups are all great because of the low cost of the hard drive. Now, if you move to the solid state disk, they're really good for operating systems because your operating system is frequently read and infrequently written. And if you remember, that's a great use case for the SSD because writing tends to wear them out. Uh, they're also good for video rendering games and databases because they have the non-volatile piece to it. If you look at the DRAM, so the highest performance tier, uh, the great uses for those are, are video games, video rendering security, because the RAM disk can be completely securely wiped. Uh, they're great for speeding up your internet experience because you can cache uh, frequently visited sites and, and small pieces of files to your, um, to your RAM disk. They're good for high-end video editing, 
uh, SSD optimizing, which is a great use for it because you can actually put some of your most frequently written or used files into your RAM disk and, and alleviate that traffic to your SSD. So you can actually speed up applications by splitting them between the DRAM and the SSD tiers to get the best possible performance while pre preserving the wear on your SSD. They're also good for compilers and database temp files. So um, we'll have a series of videos going into each of these categories later on that describe you know, how to set RAM disk up for each of these particular applications. All right, thanks for watching. Please visit us at radionmemory.com and download your free version of RAM disk. Also, check us out for future videos. Thanks.